What's up guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we have a very cool magic video. We have our super lucky Valentine's Day turtle. We have we're going to show off the rest of our graded magic card collection. We have five loose packs or blister packs of Dominaria and then we have four pieces of mail. All right, so let's just jump right into it. See what we can do. All right, so we'll spend a little time on some of these commons. Um, unless we see something cool, we're just going to kind of like breeze through them. Sarah's Angel, not a good card, but always happy to see her. Seal away. And then a Goblin Chain Whirler. Pretty cool card. I feel like it's um, it's very not balanced, but it, it, it makes sense. Three for. 3343 three, red isn't nothing to get excited about. Add first strike. Okay. That, that makes it not great, but. And then add its uh, enter the battlefield ability. And then it's like, okay. Not a great card, but pretty. Uh, makes sense. I have no problems with it. We got a lingering phantom on Sarah's wings. Ooh. Whenever I see this card. I see Tafari and like, oh my, nope, that's uh, that's just the oath. Calm down. It's a very much a troll card in my opinion. Land War Elves, always happy to see that. Actually, Land War Elves, maybe we'll see him later. Hint, hint. We got an Icy Manipulator. It's actually a, a pretty cool card. Uh, Goblin Barrage, and then Yogmith's File Offering. Ooh. Cool foil. Right. Demonic Vigor, Power Stone Shard, Shivan Fire. And then we have a Dauntless Battle Guard for one. So I don't know how to say that's familiar. And then Shala Voice of Plenty. What do we have here? A 3 4 for 4 flying. Your planeswalker, you control, and other creatures have hexproof. And then for 6, put plus 1 plus 1 counter each control creature you control. That's a whole lot of meh. Alright, so our last pack of the video, but not the last thing we have to do. Let's see if we can't hit something good. Alright, let's see. We got another Sarah's Angel. A weight of memory. And then for the last. Ooh, I thought that was like a, a loyalty marker. Nope. Oh wait, but that is just the um, third uncommon. And let's go slow. 4-4. Four, four. Nothing good. The first one I had to open just because um, I took it out of a bigger envelope. Just I was not sure whether it was a Pokemon card or magic. So I had to confirm. And this is a Noble High Arc. Very cool card. All right, let's see. Our next one, we have a Domri emblem. But why would we have that? Especially this emblem. Oh, of course, we have the Domri Chaos Bringer from the Mythic um, Mythic box. So I'm slowly obtaining these cards as opposed to buying the $250 box, trying to buy them singly. And then here we have the Jaya Ballard. This is uh, this one's actually super cheap. If you if you want like a very uh, if you think these cards are cool and and you kind of just want one, uh, the Jaya Ballard. I think it's like ten dollars if you're if you're wait if you wait for it. All right, and our last box of mail. This one is a better purchase. And <laughs> I appreciate the uh, careful shipping, but it's like all this. Peanuts just for these three guys right here. Interesting. But hey, not gonna complain. Unless I had crazy shipping costs, which it didn't. All right, so we got three cards. Um, let's leave this one. I'm not sure. And for our first one, we have. Ooh, I was hoping to do this one last. Tropical Island. This is the first Tropical Island I own. Uh, it's from Revised. Very cool. I just I love these dual lands. I only started started to acquire them. Uh, let's go for this one next then. And here we have another Mythic Edition Planeswalker in Tamiyo the Moon Sage. Very cool. And then lastly is, it's hard to read, 
Is that a plateau? It's a plateau. So that's the red white dual land. Again, from Revised. Anything uh, before Revised will be super expensive. Um, so, very happy with that. And so that's our mail day, and now we are going to wrap up our graded collection of magic cards. And here we go, we just have another stack. It's not even that many. We'll go from the top. So we do have this gold label, so I believe that means it's 9.5 or better. And here we go, we have a acidic dagger, dagger, excuse me. And that is from the Mirage set. Ah, oh, so much glare. Sorry about that. And then we have a sinkhole Hey guys, sorry about that. The camera ran out of memory, uh, so I had to off uh, move some of the video files onto my computer. So onto the second card, I believe that's where we left off, is Sinkhole, and that's a 9.5. So this one's actually from Unlimited, which is pretty cool. Uh, so one thing about back in the day was that destroying lands is very easy, and you'll notice that this doesn't say like that it can't be like a non-basic land. So Sinkhole, 9.5, very cool. And oh, there's the Land War Elves again. So this one is from Beta. And so it's a eight, it's not a great grade, but oh man, look at that art. I can't believe this is what the elves, what the elf look, used to look like. Uh, and I was really happy to get that one. Uh, I feel like Land War Elves was uh, a card that kind of like when I first started, I always thought it was cool. Just the fact that you could help ramp up. All right, Ray's dead. So this one's also from Beta, which is very sweet. So return creature from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, so one thing to, to note is that like a lot, actually, um, actually except for the dagger, the first one, but that was from a not as old of a set. Like these cards, they, they're commons, and but they're still like quite expensive. All right, now we're moving on to some of the more... Uh, Valuable cards, however, that means they are a little bit older. So this is a revised uh, Savannah. Very cool. Dual lands are, I feel like they, I don't know, are, are something that I'll always chase are dual lands. Then we have the scrub land. I can't really see. I think it's a white black. Ah, a beta planes, even just a planes. Like, this card wasn't that cheap. It's just a land card, but it's from beta. Therefore, more expensive than you could think. And and for people that are primarily like Pokemon people, like, like a Pokemon card, I even like a base set, first edition, energy, still might not go for a lot. But lands are the exception. Or do not exactly follow that. So here we have a Taiga that is 9.5, revised of course, but 9.5, it's very nice. All right, so these last two cards, um, if you look at the back, this one looks a little different. So we have a gold border, which is odd, and then they're not rounded corners. These are like uh, pointed corners, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards almost. I think they're actually pointier than Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So these are collector's edition cards. So as a result of these, all these things we're talking about, obviously these are not tournament legal. Um, however, the cards were like the same thing as they had like same cards from like a limited and revise. Uh, so then this one is a plateau. It is cool that it has slightly different art. Um, but yeah, they, they were not, you couldn't actually play them. But still very cool from 1993 again. And here is the Tropical Island Collector's Edition. All right, so there you have it. That was actually, between those these two videos, was my entire uh, graded collection for Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, and again, uh, stay tuned. There's going to be a video in the near future of uh, basically acquiring some new cards that are going to... Uh, ramp up the value of my collection very quickly so stay tuned for that other than that thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video or do like these uh, kinds of videos where we do a bunch of different things um, let me know in a comment hit that like button uh, subscribe for future content um, and yeah appreciate all the support guys um, it's very very heartwarming just uh, and honestly uh, so thanks for watching I'll catch you guys next time peace